The crisis in Syria's southern province of Dara continues as the Syrian Arab Army's SAA Elite 4th Division deployed heavy rocket launchers. They brought the weapons near the southern part of Dara city, known as Dara al-Balad, on August 20th. Syrian pro-government sources said that the rocket launchers were deployed to mount more pressure on the gunmen, who are still refusing to leave the area and conclude any sort of agreement. Late on August 20th, Mohammed Hilal Zatima, a former rebel commander, was killed by SAA shelling in the area where the gunmen are dug in. The killing of Zatima will likely lead to more escalation in Dara al-Balad, which the SAA expects, as some local media report that an ultimatum was put forth, providing the former rebels with at most 15 days to surrender their weapons. Less than a week earlier, Russia offered local leaders in Dara al-Balad a roadmap that would fulfill the demands of Syrian authorities and guarantee the rights of the locals, which the former rebels rejected. Meanwhile, Russia's efforts in Greater Idlib are a bit less diplomatic towards Hayat Tir al-Sham, HTS, and other Al-Qaeda-affiliated factions. On August 19th, Russian warplanes bombed a headquarters of HTS in the town of Ayn Shib in the western Idlib countryside. On August 20th, a series of airstrikes hit Ayn Shib as well as the town of Kirkania in the northern countryside of Idlib. On August 21st, Russian airstrikes destroyed a compound located near the town of Himyat in the al Gahab Plains in the northwestern countryside of Hama. The region is an infamous stronghold of HTS, the de facto ruler of Greater Idlib, and the Turkestan Islamic Party. On August 22nd, making it four days in a row, airstrikes struck the outskirts of the towns of Kansafra, Marian, and al Muraza in the al Zawiya Mount in the southern countryside of Idlib. These efforts are necessary because HTS and the factions with it continue to violate the ceasefire agreement in Greater Idlib, while Turkey does nothing but undermines it even further. Ankara is mostly focused on fighting the Kurdish groups in northeastern Syria. Turkish combat drones continue to target areas held by the US-backed Syrian Democratic Forces SDF, in Syria's northeastern region. On August 21st and 22nd, Turkish drone strikes struck vehicles belonging to the SDF. No human losses were reported. On August 20th, however, Turkey carried out two lethal drone strikes. The first strike claimed the life of Saladin al-Shihabi, an Iranian Kurdish commander of the SDF. The second strike claimed the lives of four personnel of the SDF, including a commander of the Tel Tamir Military Council. The SDF blamed Russia of being unable to contain the ceasefire violations by Turkey and the terrorist factions it backs.